let's talk about uh, the Labour Party win mm. in Abia. You know, bringing to an end, so to speak, the reign of the PDP right. after two decades mm. uh, of holding the state down. Now the Labour Party has emerged. Uh, the winner, Alex Oti, it was a hard-fought win, but emerged eventually as the winner. Absolutely. You know, uh, it's one thing to say that, you know, the, the momentum gathered by the, the obedient movement, you know, it was thought that, oh, no, that's not going to do anything. It's, nothing is going to happen mm -hmm. in, the, in the political space. But they, they had a very good showing for the presidential election. And, you know, for the gubernatorial election, it was a sieve when APC won 15, PDP 8, and, you know, Labour Party was recorded at zero. But yesterday, they broke that the jinx. the narrative. Absolutely. Oh. That, you know, winning Abia State. And uh, it's a beautiful thing to see that, the Nigerian political, uh, political landscape, landscape is changing. really, really changing, being shaped by the youth. People now, uh, they're now out beginning to talk about, okay, this is what we want in our country. This is how we want our country to be governed. We have to participate. So the youth coming out, making a statement, it shows that whoever is holding any political uh, position, any political seats, elective position, you know, it's, it's, it's no beans any longer. It's, it's mm. time for you to work. And, you know, Alex Oti uh, is just one person who, you know, a banker, an economist, we're beginning to see some of them now coming into politics, mm -hmm. not just, okay, but I'm a banker. But it's been a long time coming for him, though. Absolutely, He's absolutely. He's been on this absolutely. fight to get to that house, uh, the governorship seats, for years. And mm. eventually, he's clinching at the ticket, eventually. And look at the, look at the distance, you know, the, the margin, the winning mm. margin is quite long. And some people are asking, why did we have to wait this long when, mm. we, when we already have this, this margin? Why did we have to wait this long? Mm. So... It also speaks to the integrity of our electoral process, you know, especially these just concluded elections. You know, some people might say, no, it's the worst elections, you know, we, we've ever had in Nigeria. But we, we know that back in the day where results are being written, sometimes you're already <laughs> preparing for inauguration. And then you, I mean, you're already preparing that, okay, you're celebrating. Mm. And then before you know it, the election result has been changed. Mm. And... Even do or die affair was introduced to you know our electoral lexicon, mm. but now it shows that people have their power, they have their mandates, and whenever they give it to you, you have to you to have deliver. to deliver. Absolutely, absolutely. We 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 saw that, and uh, we also see that uh, the Labour Party has gotten some seats in the Senate, about six of them, and three mm. House of Representatives seats. That despite we can we now have a third force. Absolutely. That is the reality absolutely. that we have as it stands. Right. And you mentioned the youth and they are showing a lot has begun to happen. Mm. The their their voter education is already having that impact. We have seen mm. that transformation between twenty twenty. Right. And now, and so the politicians cannot wish them away they as can't. it stands. They can't. So we, we hope to see more of this showing as things begin to unfold. Well, it's not, it's not uh, sorry to button, it's not only for you to win, um, you know, an elective position. But it's you also must for deliver. you to also deliver because, uh, you know, a lot of people actually catched in on the, this momentum, mm -hmm. the drive, the, the, the noise. Because the, the current youth, I can't say all of them, but the way some of them went about it, you know, they were brash, aggressive, rude. This is what we want. If you get in our way, we tear you apart. Mm -hmm. So you winning this position, especially for Alex Oti, on the platform of the Labour Party, he has to deliver because... Mm -hmm. All eyes will be on him. All eyes will be on him. Uh, you know, I, I read in the, in the papers yesterday, yesterday night that, you know, uh, over for, for years of the PDP rule in, in the state, you know, there is no pipe bomb water. Maybe, no, that could be exaggerated, but then you know, roads, infrastructure, all of those things. And Nigerians seem not to be patient any longer. They just want to see everything pronto. It has to be done. Mm. So if it's not delivered in due time, only God knows what's happening. They, they want to see a the miracle. Next years. So we hope that uh, now that he has gotten what he has been, you know, looking for, he mm. will be able to deliver on the promises because that will also put the party on the spotlight. Absolutely.